the people that put in the work to give brand new original content, original ideas, maybe give away stuff for free that you would have charged for. It's that good. Those are the people that deserve all the sales. Those are the people that are shareable. Those are the ones that have the kind of engagement that will actually buy from them. Welcome, everybody, to The Chris Harder Show, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success, knowing that when good people like you make good money, they can then do great things. My name is Chris Harder, and several times per week, I will bring you epic guests, solo episodes, and every single tool, trick, and skill set you need to grow your business, grow your money mindset, and to grow your wealth to levels that you have never reached before. I've ended up in a unique place in life where I've got the experience, the connections, and all of the secrets that it takes to be successful. And and I'm lifting the curtain to reveal it all to you in an effort to help put you in a position of abundance so great that you can then be as generous as possible. So let's lock arms and let's get started. And we're back with another episode of He Said, She Said. Okay, so weird. We're recording in the early evening. Normally we record like late morning, but we were inspired by our day. So here, let me set this up here real quick. I just had a day where I was coaching a lot of people who are in our elite mastermind. And I saw a couple common threads, right? As we work on things, you had a day where you jumped on and coached somebody else's group yep. and you saw the common threads. Yes. We did our dog walk and we realized, holy crap, we saw the same common threads, even though they're unrelated. And then we see the same common threads in our business. Like we always know what they are when we have a problem. Yeah. So these common threads, guys, these are the four reasons your business might be stuck. And if one of these strikes a nerve with you, please know this is constructive to get you unstuck. Like if you're stuck in the snowbank on the side of the road, we are the people coming along and hooking up to your vehicle and yanking you out of the snowbank. May not be pleasant. We might even break your axle, but at least we got you out of the snowbank. And I think the most important thing to recognize is that you don't want to be stuck in a place when you're like, I don't know how I got here or how to get out. Mm -hmm. These are the things that will bring you self-awareness and awareness in general to be like, okay, I'm stuck. And here's the reasons. The last place we ever want to be is stuck without knowing what, what to the do. reason is. Yes. Okay. So number one, you have an audience problem. Guys, I don't care what level of people I'm coaching, even everyone who has multi-million dollar businesses in the elite mastermind that we run. So many people have an audience problem. I like to say you have champagne goals on a beer budget audience. In other words, here's what I see happen a lot. The first year in business, you make a few hundred thousand dollars on whatever audience you have. And you're like, woohoo, this is amazing. Next year, I'm going for a million except you haven't done anything to grow your audience. So you raised your goal three times, four times what your sales were the year before, but have you raised your audience the same 3X or 4X? There is nothing more clear than this. You ready? If you 4X your goal, you've got to 4X your audience to get there. If you 2X your goal, you got to 2X your audience to get there. And here's why. The first time, the first year you're in business, the first program you offer, the first product you sell, because it's new, people have been following you for years. And the first thing you offer, guess what? They're so excited that you're offering it, that your conversions are higher than average. So more people buy it than you outsell your audience. Mm -hmm. So then what do you do? You raise your goals next year. Oh my God, if this many people bought from my audience this year, next year, I'm going to crush it. And then you fall flat on your face. It's because you are not growing your audience in accordance with the size of your goals. Now, I want to talk about this in terms of, let's just talk about when people launch a book. Now, if you were to launch a book, you're not just going to launch it to your audience and expect to get to your goal number because yep. your audience is not big enough to sell the number of books that you probably want to be selling, right? So what do people do when they want to get their book out to the world? This is when Chris said that you need to 4X your audience if you want to 4X your goals, your, goals. your results. So it doesn't always mean that you're going to see this 4X on your Instagram account or this 4X in your email numbers. But what it does mean is that you need to get out in front of four times the people than you've ever been in front of. And yes, you do need to convert a lot of those either into your email or have somebody mail directly 
from their email if it is something that you were able to get in front of this other audience. Listen, I did a whole episode on this recently. Guys, go to the Chris Harder Show, go to chrisharder.me and just click on my podcast. I did an entire episode dedicated to you have an audience program or program. You have an audience problem and here's how to fix it. So that's number one. You're bumping up against the wall because you have an audience problem. Number two. Number two is you are not giving equal value for the value that you want out of your audience. Yep. So with that said, it means that you have not given enough value to your current audience in order to get the same amount of value back from them. That means when you go to sell your audience, you haven't showed up consistently and offered enough value that would grow the audience Mm -hmm. to the number that you want in order to get the numbers that you want. Here's a great example. So the B online course that Lori and I launched, we literally launched it yesterday to our VIP text list only. By the way, go to joinbeonline.com. Best course we have ever, ever, ever created if you want to learn how to you know, expand your business online or, or grow an extra income source online. Seriously, go to joinbeonline.com. Now, we launched it yesterday. In 24 hours, we now have almost 400 people that are taking the course right. That's in the first day of launching this thing. You Why? Just a text list, not even to our general audience. Why? Because we took forever adding value to our audience before we asked anything in return. Here's a good example. Every single morning I wake up, I send out a text mantra, a positive money mindset perspective or a positive business perspective. Every single morning that I wake up via text. I've done that for almost a year now to thousands and thousands and thousands of people before I asked anyone to buy something in return. Another good example is this. I got so many people that have texted me that joined Be Online that said, I've been listening to the podcast. I've been listening to Lori. I've been listening to you for years, years. not weeks, not months. For years, and this is the first thing I'm ever buying from you. I'm so excited. Guys, here's the bottom line. Too many of you are trying to get six-year results with six days worth of effort. Mm -hmm. I am not kidding. Like I feel like you and I are just shooting straight today, but this is the truth. Too many of you are trying to get year six results with six days of effort. And not literal six days. No, I'm, I'm exaggerating. The truth is you need to offer more value for a longer, more consistent time than you're asking for in return. So looking at, have you shown up on those platforms to even be able to launch? I was in a group recently where literally people were like, I did a webinar. I let people know about it for three weeks. That's all I talked Mm -hmm. about for three weeks straight. And I was like, okay, but what did you do before that? Like, how do you show up every single day and serve that audience so that they can trust you enough to know that you're still going to be there when this is over and that you're going to grow with them? And they're like, "Mm, they hardly post. No. They didn't really mail much. They do one webinar all of a sudden out of the blue. Yeah. And they're like, why didn't it convert? Maybe they go on their stories normally, but there's nothing that's like really consistently adding value and also making them an expert and letting people know like, hey, I'm going to be here talking about the same thing or helping you with this problem every single damn day. And that's really, it's showing up and choosing a platform. So you guys, if Instagram is not for you, like maybe you're a podcaster. Maybe you have to consistently show up for three years so that you can fill one course. And I'm just being honest. It's like everybody wants to do what they see being done online, like with being an entrepreneur or doing courses or being a coach or selling a product. And they literally are not adding the value of the experts that have come before them for as long as they have. Amen. All right. The number three reason why your business might be stuck. So it is that your content, this goes along with value. It is that what you are putting out there is boring or not interesting. Oh, you went for the jugular, babe. I did. Well, it's because this is all things I've realized. I have looked at my content and said, oh my God, Chris, my views are so low on my stories. It's not the algorithm. It's our boring ass stretch of, of stories. I'm not being interesting enough and I'm not adding enough value. Yep. So if I look at my Instagram over the past two weeks, Is there something that adds value to someone? Is there something that adds value in an entertaining way? Is there something that's original? Is there something that's original? Is there something that excites people? Eh, Probably not. I bet you're just kind of showing the low hanging fruit at best. I know, by the way, we're always looking in the mirror. That's how we know these things. Oh my God, Here's an example. When we're on vacation in Greece 
or in Italy or in Paris or when we're, you know, doing something extraordinary. Our story views are through the roof. What, do you think the algorithm all of a sudden just happened to favor us that week? No, it's because we're actually doing something that's share worthy. We're actually doing something that is comment worthy. We're actually doing something that excites people. So when you're doing something that is boring or uninteresting, but then wondering why you have no engagement, it's because you need to excite people. You need to be aspirational. And look, guys, you don't need to be going on some exotic vacation in a foreign country. You can just be doing things that are a little bit different than what other people are doing or showing things that help educate people or help people. So let's say that you are a nutritionist and you want to put out meal guides. Like, are you actually showing what you're cooking? Are you mm-hmm. showing little cooking hacks? Are you showing quick recipes? Are, are you, you giving a new recipe away every day? Yes. Are you educating people on something that could really help them or that's really interesting and original? The people that put in the work to give brand new original content, original ideas, maybe give away stuff for free that you would have charged for. It's that good. Those are the people that deserve all the sales. Those are the people that are shareable. Those are the ones that have the kind of engagement that'll actually buy from them. All right. And then the fourth reason why your business might be stuck is that you are comparing your chapter one effort to somebody else's chapter nine results. I see this a lot. You're comparing your chapter one effort to someone else's chapter nine results. For example, somebody else has been doing sales online for nine years. They're crushing it. They tell you what their conversion numbers are. You go and do your first webinar ever and your conversion numbers aren't the same. You say, oh, what's wrong with mine? Why didn't it work? It's because you're comparing your first time to somebody else's one millionth time. They've refined it. They've practiced. They know what works. They know what doesn't. They've tweaked and tweaked and tweaked. They've developed that skill set. So you can't expect the same results that whatever guru came along and shared their their conversions with you, their numbers with you, got you all pumped up so you'd buy their damn thing. You can't expect their results when you are in your first month, your first year, your first two years. You got to make sure that you are comparing your year one to someone else's year one, your year two to someone else's year two. I got a real example of this. I remember when our buddy Lewis Howes was speaking at a 10X event and you spoke there too. It was a few years ago. And he got up there and he spoke and he showed the chart of the trajectory of his podcast. Year one was like 850,000 downloads. Year two was 2 million. Year three, he was up to 5 million. Year four, it was at like 9 million. Year five, it was like, you know, all of a sudden it hit 20 million. And I remember I was barely in year one and you were in like year two. And we were comparing like, oh my God, how is he at 20 million downloads already? We're only at, you know, whatever we were at the time. It's some small number, right? And we were comparing our chapter one to his chapter nine. Guys, go find your peers. Go find the best peers in your space who are where you're at and just compare yourself to them. And not just that, just talking about comparison. Yes, the numbers are going to grow over the years, but you just dial it all in. You dial in your message, you dial in your team. The thing that you're not seeing is so many of these people that you're comparing yourself to, they get to a place where they can have teams. So you're comparing one person's Ooh, work, good. a team of one, to a team of potentially 10, 10 to 20 yep. with ad money yep. and marketing dollars. Yes. And this is what we forget. So we really don't know how else to tell you how to be successful without learning and going through it. Mm-hmm. And also, I think it's so powerful to hear the truth yep. of, man, sometimes the first one to three to five years, you're just in it. You're just in the grind. You're in the work. I don't know how to skip over that, but it's so powerful to just start. Like before you know it, you're going to blink. You're going to be at the end of year one. Then you're going to be in year three. It's insane, you guys. And Chris and I truly, truly, the thing that we can tell you is that it has to start with a commitment. It has to start with a monetary commitment. I don't know how else to do it. You have to hold yourself to it. It has to start with saying yes to something big and to doing the hard work. And you want to know the toughest yes? The first yes is the toughest. You want to know the second toughest yes? The yes, I will do it again tomorrow. And the yes, I will do it on day three. And the yes, I will do it on day 100. Consistency is as important almost as that first yes. Guys, listen, if you want the truth about how to get started, not the glory, what's possible. If you want the truth 
about how to make your first 1500 or 2500 or five grand a month online, if you want the truth about the real things that will earn you some money right out of the gates in your online business, we built that course. And we will share with you the real numbers and the real tactics that it takes to get started, not the pie in the sky to get you excited. Go check out the stats. Go check out what's possible at joinbeonline.com. Joinbeonline.com. I'm not kidding you. That's the real truth about how to get your online business going. Yeah, I just want to spell that out for you guys. It's join, obviously J-O-I-N, and then it's B-E online, O-N-L-I-N-E.com. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Always love and appreciate you. Sorry for our rant, but we're so tired of people feeling like they're failing when they're not. You're not failing. You're just getting started. You're learning. You can do this. And all you need is a few of these small adjustments of breakthroughs. You guys, honestly, Chris and I started from online courses. Not only did we start from online courses, I'm still using them. I'm using them right now to write my book. I use them all the time, even just for learning different things within my business. Truly, it's the way that people are learning now. And if you commit to it, if you finish this course and follow it, you will know your first steps. And if you follow through, if you actually take action every single day, I don't know how you could fail on launching a business because truly it's just about the action and it's just about following and listening to somebody who has been there before. And this is what we do. We help people launch online businesses. So you guys definitely go to joinbeonline.com. Thanks for listening. Love and appreciate you. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success. Thank you.